determining number of all subatomic particles. So in this example problem, it says carbon has an atomic number of 6 and a mass number of 12. Find the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons of carbon. So we know that carbon, or C, has an atomic number of 6, which means that it also has 6 protons, because the atomic number tells us the number of protons. So we already have that. Now, we need to figure out the number of electrons. Since this is a neutral atom of carbon, we know that the number of protons has to equal and cancel out the charges of the number of electrons. So here, we also know that because it's neutral, because it's neutral, that it also has six electrons because we know it has six protons. Now, to figure out the neutrons or the number of neutrons, we have to use the mass number. So we have to use the mass number subtracted by the atomic number or the number of protons to get the number of neutrons. So the mass number we know is 12, like it says here, 12, minus the atomic number of 6, which is 6. So 12 minus 6 is going to give us 6, and that's 6 neutrons. That's what we just figured out. So this has 6 protons, 6 electrons, and 6 neutrons, and that's what we just figured out for carbon.